Robert Bacon July 5, 1860 to May 29, 1919, was an American statesman and diplomat. He served as United States Secretary of State from January to March 1909. Early life and family Born in Jamaica Plain, Massachusetts, to William Benjamin Bacon and Emily Crosby Lowe, he was a graduate of Harvard University class of 1880, where he was a member of the A.D. Club and Delta Kappa Epsilon. He was married on October 10, 1883 to Martha Waldron Cowden. They had four children, Robert Lowe Bacon, Gaspar Griswold Bacon, Elliot Cowden Bacon, and Martha Beatrix Bacon 1890 who married George Whitney 1885 Their son Robert was a United States congressman Their other son Gaspar was the president of the Massachusetts Senate from 1929–32 and lieutenant governor of Massachusetts from 1933–1935. A grandson, Robert Bacon Whitney, married Adelaide Weld, a daughter of Stephen Minot Weld, Jr. Topic career He worked in the steel world, including partnership with J.P. Morgan & Co., for many years starting in 1894. He acted as J.P. Morgan's chief lieutenant and participated in the formation of the U.S. Steel Corporation and the Northern Securities Company. The pressure of the job shot his nerves, and he left the company in 1903. He was named Assistant Secretary of State in 1905, a position which held until 1909. He was acting secretary while Elihu Root was in South America in 1906. He became full secretary only for the last 38 days of the term of President Theodore Roosevelt, with whom he was friends at Harvard, from January 27 to March 5, 1909. Bacon obtained the advice and consent of the Senate for the Panama Canal Treaties with Colombia and Panama. He served as United States Ambassador to France from 1909 until 1912. He was supposed to return home on the RMS Titanic with his wife and daughter, but his voyage was delayed by the late arrival of the new ambassador. The family attended another maiden voyage instead, of the new French ocean liner SS France, which left Le Havre on April 20, 1912, ten days after Titanic had departed Southampton and five days after she had sunk. Upon his safe arrival back in the U.S. he became a Fellow of Harvard in 1912. In August 1914, he went to France to help with the work of the American Field Service, which provide ambulances and drivers to support French and British forces. He was also attached to the British Army Medical Corps and assisted with the establishment of a typhoid hospital near Ypres. His book For Better Relations with Our Latin American Neighbors was published in 1915. He was then commissioned a major in the U.S. Army in May 1917 before sailing to France as a member of General Pershing's staff. He was promoted to lieutenant colonel in 1918 and served as chief of the American military mission at British General Headquarters. He returned to the United States in April 1919. Bacon died on May 29, 1919, from blood poisoning after undergoing surgery on his mastoiditis. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Memorial. A sculpture entitled "The Sacrifice" was made by Malvina Hoffman as a memorial to the late ambassador of France, Robert Bacon, an alumni of Harvard University who lost their lives during the World War I. In it, the head of a 13th-century crusader lay on the lap of a draped woman. The sculpture was dedicated in 1923 at the Cathedral of Saint John the Divine in New York. After the War Memorial Chapel at Harvard University was completed in 1932, it was installed there. 